Ahoy mateys! If you have not heard, this channel and content is for late teens and adults. If you're under the age of 13, then you need to get the f out of here. This channel is not for you. Now, with that disclaimer out of the way, make sure to hit that subscribe button to help me overthrow the evil overlords known as YouTube Algorithm. They are awful. The more subs I have, the better chance I have at winning this battle. Now let's get to the point of this video. This is the ultimate chart guide for the Sea of Thieves. I have included some bonus materials in the description of this video, so make sure to snag those so that you can have quick access to all of those goodies. Now with that being said, let's do this. The weapons are constantly changing in the seas, but something that has been pretty consistent is the damage from each weapon. So let's break that down for you here. Each weapon is different and has different damage. As a pirate, it is your responsibility to know what damage each weapon does and the best use for them. Let's break it down for you here. The Cutlass does 20% damage per slash, and with your combo of 3 hits, you do a total of 60% damage. Now the Lunge will do a 50% damage, which means 2 lunges back to back will make quick work of any pirate. The flintlock does 50% damage, which means two well-placed shots will end a pirate's life and send them right to the ferryman. The blunderbuss does 15% damage per pellet, which means if you shoot a pirate point blank, they're pretty much done for. Another note here, the blunderbuss is the only weapon that has knockback, useful for getting boarders off of your ship. And finally, the eye of reach does roughly 70% damage per shot. With this consideration of the damage, the next thing you need to keep in mind is the reason load times of each weapon and their fire rate. Here I'm going to show you in real time the difference between all the weapons as they've changed. So as you can see, each reload is a little bit different. This is important to keep in mind with your playstyle when picking your weapon of choice. Now let's talk hip fire. All the weapons have different bullet spread, making them effective in various ways, except for the Eye of Reach, which is basically worthless when it comes to hip fire. So if you're going to be playing with the Eye of Reach, you will want to practice up on that quick scoping. Last but not least, and worth mentioning, all the weapons now have a delay when bringing them up. So if at all possible, you always want to start your fights with your weapons ready to go. That way you're ready to go when you see that enemy pirate and you want to attack them. Let's talk all things fruit, meat, health, and regeneration time. I've broken everything down for you into some simple charts to explain everything. Let's talk about fruit. A banana has health recovery of 20%. A coconut is 30%, a pomegranate is 40%, a mango is 50%, and a pineapple, my beloved lovable pineapple, is 100%. And not only that, you get two bites with a pineapple, so having this on hand is the best thing you could possibly have for the fruit category. Now meat can be broken down into two tiers. Tier 1 you have chicken, pork, snake and shark. When cooked provides 50% on your health and a quarter towards your health regen bar. Tier 2 you have kraken and megalodon meat. When cooked provides 100% health and half of your health regen bar. This makes tier 2 meat the absolute best thing that you can have on your pirate when in combat. Fish can be broken down into two tiers as well. Tier 1 you have the basic fish, when cooked provides 30% on your health and a 12.5% towards your health regen bar. Tier 2 the trophy fish, when cooked provides 75% health and 37.5% of your health regen bar. Now, a quick note here on the health regen bar. It will only kick in if you have not been taking damage for 10 seconds, so in the heat of combat it is not something that you can rely on. This would be a good opportunity to run away and try to dodge to give your health regen bar the time it needs to activate. And there you have it. The ultimate guide for weapons, fruit, meat, and fish in the Sea of Thieves. What other charts would you like to see me put together? Make sure to let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching everyone. If you like this video, I have quite a few more guides on my channel, so feel free to check those out.